let me be honest, outpatient is not the easiest level of care. Why is that? There's a lot less structure. And a client has a lot of free time. They're being asked to practice the skills that they have been learning and have been taught about what sober and recovering people do in order to stay well. But in my experience in, in the years in the field, the reward and the knowledge and the experience gained at this level of care really enhances long-term recovery. Uh, treatment is, is actually a, an individual approach. We learned that a long time ago. Some people tried to can treatment, if you will. Well, let's just sort of build this system and put everybody in it and everyone's going to respond the same way. Well, that's not how humans work. At the Intensive Outpatient Program, we cover topics related to relationships, trauma, medication management, relapse prevention, and life skills. Looking at some of the uh, core issues or what's happening inside of themselves emotionally for people can be very difficult. Many people will use substances to self-medicate because they haven't ever shared some of their more inner secrets and they will have a history of uh, you know, getting drunk or using drugs, other drugs to medicate because they don't know how to cope with the stuff that's happening inside them. Alcohol and substance abuse is a deadly disease and it takes lives. And I've lost a lot of friends. So rather than put it off, I would recommend that you give yourself an opportunity to take a look at it. Do that for yourself. You deserve to do that. Your loved ones deserve to have you do that. Because as I mentioned, if you don't, it gets worse, not better. That's the way that this works. You're maybe one step away from just picking up the phone. And that one phone call for so many, they look back and they say, I'm so glad I took that risk to do. So you pick up the phone, somebody answers and says, hey, how can I help you? And you simply say, I need some help. We'll take it from there.